Hello everyone, this is Kestrel North, and this is my second video ever. Hooray! Oh, this is so much fun. So, uh, what we're going to do today, last time I did a Let's Play, and this time I'm going to try something just a little bit different. I'm going to try um, a Ultra Beginner's Guide to Creativerse. Yay, Creativerse! We're going to start from the very beginning, right up to creating a new world. So, these worlds are server-side. You enter a name, obviously. I'm going to make uh, Kestrel's... Um, no, you, no, not YouTube. I'm going to call it Kestrel's... Ah! Beggar's World. Beginner's World. There. Now, in order to keep... Um, in order to keep it private, you set a password. Uh, and I'm going to show you in a minute how to... Because I just figured this out. Um, I'm just going to put... Um, password123. And I'm going to change it later, so don't try this at home. <laughs> It'll get changed. Okay, now we go down to the advanced options. These are really simple. Um, I'm not entirely sure actually what visitor means. But uh, you can disable PvP, which I'm going to do, because I'm a weenie. Um, I'm going to leave explosives, though, because I'm a passive-aggressive weenie. And um, I'm going to I'm gonna take off, leave off peaceful mode, and recipes don't carry over. This is all really... These, those are all pretty self-explanatory, and I'll show you how to change them once we actually get into the world. So, the world is being created. Creating the world. That was pretty quick. Oh, no, it wasn't. That was, uh, alright. <laughs> this game is is pretty easy to begin with, actually. Much easier than Minecraft, where you could conceivably find yourself spawned right in the middle of a frickin' dungeon. This game will always, always spawn you in the middle of a grassland or a woodland. See, we're in the middle of a woodland. So there's always tons and tons of materials around you to start, to start you off with. You start off with a stick for, uh, oh, oh my stick, eh, ah, yeah, and your default, your default, um, power cell for, cl for collecting blocks. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is take stock of your situation, mm. and pick up and start picking stuff up. These are red mushrooms. They're used for uh, to regain health and also to make health potions. Very important. You can find them ev everywhere, so it's not difficult uh, to get lots. But it's always a good idea to pick as many up as you can. Uh, next, we're going to pick up some of this. This is moss. And oh, I hate the way that makes the trees look. I think some will look all spotty, and so far I haven't noticed if they grow back from this sort of thing. I do know that trees grow. Uh, they will get bigger and bigger as the game progresses, but I don't know if they grow back from here. I haven't, uh, haven't experimented on that yet, and you're going to want some of these flowers, too. They're, they're used to make um, higher level... Uh, you can use these in health potions, but I wouldn't advise it with the red ones, because they are the only, things that you, they are the only flowers that you can use to make uh, some of the higher level mining cells. So, you know, there are lots of other flowers you can use for, for health potions that are even easier to get. I'm actually finding quite a few red flowers on this run. That's pretty good. There's a leafy in the distance. We're just going to leave them alone. No point in going after the leafy. I'll leave that for now, too. Okay. Oh, more red mushrooms. We're going to need those. So it's just just like Minecraft, you're going to want to explore and you're going to want to start thinking about where you want to have your home base. Um, I generally find myself the biggest, tallest tree and put my home base there. But I've been thinking for this run, uh, I might try something a little different. But I'm not entirely sure what. If any of you guys have an idea of what I should try for my for my base, like I said, I normally make tree houses. 
thinking I might actually look for a nice big mountain to hollow out and make into some kind of fortress. That might be kind of cool. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And that's what I will do for this beginner's guide. Ooh. This is a nice... Oop, a little bit of lag there. This is a very nice sunny patch here. That's the problem with having your home in a tree house. It tends to get very dark very fast. As the trees grow and their canopy spreads, uh, yeah, it gets to be pretty dark on the ground. It's cool, but... Ugh, it drives me crazy. I'm gonna leave it there now for now, though, and continue exploring. Time is ticking. We're gonna need some wood. But as you can see, that's pretty much everywhere. So there's really no, uh... Ooh! A nice little, little lake. That's nice. Let's see. We can pick up water. That's later in the game. A little later. Um. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I guess we'll go. Let's head. Let's head north. Why not? Castro North is going north. Uh, I should probably start thinking about upgrading our power cell and our weapon. Oh, all we need for this are vines. I'm facing right now, and some wood. So, you know what? Let's do that right now. Just pick up some vines. Oh, now we can make a thatched wall, too. That is how you get... That is one way, sorry, to get more... Um, and now a wood wall. This is one way to get more recipes. By collecting different kinds of blocks. And you'd be surprised at... at like, you may have collected three or four different kinds of wood and think, well, you know, here's another kind, and oh, they don't really need it. But if you collect it, just one, you might actually unlock some more, some more recipes. So it's important to try collecting all sorts of different kinds of blocks. I see a cave. I'm not going to go in there right now, though. There's no point. I don't have, uh, I don't have the right tools for it, so we're just going to ignore that cave. I got some vines. I have a little bit of wood, but heck, we can... Ooh! Lettuce! This is useless right now. Don't eat it, though. You can use it for later when we start farming. That's that's at the obsidian tier. Hmm. We're still going north. So far though, um, looks like we're coming into some grassland. This is nice. The, um, the biome will always be on the top right. So you never have to guess where you are. And there are certain, there are obviously, you know, some things are prevalent to some biomes, so it's always nice to know exactly what biome you are in. Let's get some more of these, because we're going to need them. There we go, and I should really get myself some more wood. Uh, let's just pop back into the, um, back into the woodland. Now we're in a forest. I don't know the difference between a forest and a woodland, to be perfectly honest. Uh, if anyone knows, they seem kind of the same to me. Maybe one is denser than the other, I don't know. I am totally going to destroy some of these trees, though, so I can harvest their sweet, sweet wood. Oh! What's keeping me from jumping? This is. Oh. This is. There we go. That was it. Alright. Uh, let's go up to the canopy. Find some more flowers up there. Up. And more vines. Vines are always good. I'm going to show you later on. We're going to turn them into twine. Which is used in all sorts of recipes. Up. You could just tell by looking just how much effort it would take to completely chop this tree down. I would recommend that if you want a large parcel of land, find a grassland, unless you have a lot of time on your hands. Because clearing out a forest, it's not like in Minecraft. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think you can set the trees on fire. Uh, I'm not going to try it. Oh, here's some yellow flowers. You can definitely use those. And we're getting up to the tree line. Up oh, there we go. Uh, 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 man. I suck. It's just like real life. <laughs> Too short. There we go. Okay, and oh, here's a little leafy sleeping in the trees. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, 
canopy is a super cool place. Some more flowers. Oop. You can get a good lay of the land. And you could probably run from whoops. Oh! Oop, wee! You could definitely go from one tree to another. You could practically travel an entire forest just by walking along the canopy. Uh I don't think I can make that. <laughs> I'm not gonna try. I'm just gonna hop a little higher up. Oop. It's now 12 p.m. game time, and the sun will set ooh, somewhere around uh, 6 or 7. It's probably a good time to start looking for some place to hole up. You can hole up anywhere, though. Anywhere. This video is only going to be one day. Ah, there's some more vines. I got a bunch of flowers. Probably, and I have a whole bunch of. I got some wood too, so let's create our first weapon. We're gonna create a wood. S no, we're not gonna create a wood sword. Yes, we are, because you may have noticed that it looks like you need birch. If you look down in the corner there, those two little arrows, that means that you can use any type of wood, or more than one type of wood. See down over here. So I can I can actually scroll through these: elder wood, ashen wood, crag wood. You could use logs. You could use shore wood. Wildwood, any kind of wood here to make your um, to make your wooden sword. Ta-da! And now I can make stone swords. Well, I have the recipe. Can't actually make it. Oh, oh no. So for wood mining cells, I need. Oh, oh, there you go. I got confused too. I thought I need brown mushrooms, but the red mushrooms work as well. So we may as well make. There we go. And now you can see by doing that, we have a whole bunch of new new recipes. I'm also going to make some potions. Crap, did I just make those with my red flowers? <sighs> I hope not. I did. Darn it! Uh, here I've been talking and yammering away saying, Don't use those! But then I went ahead and used them anyway. Fabulous! <laughs> oh well. I guess I can always find more. So, now we have... Our nice wood sword. Eh. Er, take that. And our improved mining cell, which means now we can suck up some stone. Uh, oh, there's some more. There's some more flowers. I'll just go up to those. Ah. There we go. We won't be. Whoa! That was quite a large jump. I think the jumping mechanism might be just a bit bugged. If you're just starting this game out, you're definitely going to want to wander around a bit, get used to the controls. As I've mentioned before, they are soupy, they are squishy, they are squashy. And it's definitely going to take a little while to get used to. And every now and then uh, you get a bit of a bug and you just get launched in the air. <laughs> this huge jump. Uh, it's very entertaining. Uh, it's not killed me yet, at least, so that's good. Oh, here's another one. And I'll just slip down here. I'm sure it'll be... There we go. Fine. Good. I haven't quite figured out what your fall distance is yet before you start to get damaged. I just kind of take it on... Take it on faith. Might not be the best thing to do. Alright. So, I got a bunch of supplies now. A little bit of wood. I think I'm going to wander through the grassland and see what's beyond here. I can. I don't know if you. Uh, if you look down at our wooden power cell, you can see that it's slowly losing its um, durability. Just to keep it. Um, oh, I still have. No, I think I picked those afterwards. La, 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 la. Um, I'm gonna take it off because I don't need it just yet. Whee! Oh, here's another good example. I don't. Oh shoot. Um. Hang on. Yes! Suck up some some mud and now I can make adobe walls. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that mud though because I don't really need it right now. There we go. And I'm going to take... Uh, what the heck, I'll leave it on. They're not too hard to make. 
Oh, this is this is actually a really lovely little area here. You got a little waterfall and everything. That's so that's pretty. More waterfalls. Ooh, this is really kind of nice. I wonder if you can slide down them. I haven't tried that yet. Whee! No, 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 no. No, can't actually slide. That's kind of disappointing. Could have definitely, could have definitely made myself a cool water slide. Well, you can sort of slide. You can stop at any time, though. Oh well, maybe later on I'll make myself a water slide. That's cool. This is a cool area, though. Ah, we've hit the savanna. They are really nice for wildflowers, which we can use in health potions. Gonna be making a lot, a lot of health potions. But you have to watch out for uh, the pigsies. These little guys here are fine. They're cute though, aren't they? Don't attack them though. They have f they have like a fire ability. This guy over here, wait in the just right here. This pigsy, I believe they are they are mildly um, uh, they're mildly aggressive. So best to stay away from them because they've actually they actually pack quite a quite a punch. And I've only got a wood sword and absolutely no armor. So we're just going to try and avoid these guys as we wander about in search of a good spot to call home. There we go. Just gonna suck up as many of these flowers as I can because I tend to really... Combat is not my strong point and I tend to suck up the health potions pretty quick while I'm fighting something. So it's always good to have a plethora of health potions. Ooh! Well, Let's see what's over here. Now Kestrel North is going to go west. I'm gonna tame one of these suckers one of these days because they are adorable. Alright. And more mushrooms. Get as many mushrooms as you can. You have a fairly large bag. Yeah, I can, you can fit 40 things. You'll fill it up pretty fast. But you may as well get as much stuff as you can while you can. Now it's five. Um, I'm just gonna grab this and this, and I'm gonna make some torches. These are the first torches you're gonna make. I'm gonna make sixteen because you make a fair amount of these at first, anyway, because they do not—they don't cast much light, so you'll need more of them than the other torches later in the game. One thing I like to have in my in my first whoop, in my first thing is a door. No, what did? Oh yes, I remember now. Uh, next thing you're going to want to make is a processor and an extractor. I need stone. Um. Oh, I think I see some over here. Woo! Ah. Ah. Uh, sorry, I'm going to be doing that a lot. I <laughs> get a kick out of it. <laughs> Here we ooh, this is kind of a neat it's kind of a neat area here. Oops. Hup. Uh, oh, it's all the stone I could need. Like a whole bunch. Ah, thank you. Now I have stacked stone wall in my recipe. nice big batch of stone and we can make our first processor which once it gets dark enough I will show you what it does um, let's go over here find a place to hole up for the night and then I think I will end this video on that note but I'll don't worry I will be making more I know you're worried about it <laughs> Uh, this is actually kind of a cool little area up here. Whee! Yep. Hi -yo. Got a nice view. Oh, I think that's a desert over there! Oh, I'm gonna check that out later. Not right now. It's not really a safe time right now, but definitely later. Desert is one of the biomes I have not found yet. Like, just a plain... That's Savannah over there. I've seen a bunch of those, but I don't think I've seen just a plain desert yet. That would be very handy. Um... 
Alright, now it's starting to get dark, so we're going to find a little place to hole up in. And, uh, I think we'll literally just find a little... Uh, you know what? This tree is calling to me. I'm going to hole up in the tree today. Um, I'm going to... Just make myself a little door here. Or at least... Just hole up in the door. This tree is not really big enough to make... To do much else with, but it will do for now. Just hollow it out a bit. So that I have some space to do a few things. Let me know in the comments if you think that I should make I should make myself make my home base a, a tree house or find a mountain range and try that. There's our uh, our moss. And since it's getting dark now, I'm going to close this up. I don't have a door yet, but once I manage to make one. this out a bit more, so we have a bit more space. Oops! Oh! And put that back. This is a very small tree. Nope. Can I go? Nope. I can't go that way. Can't go that way. Wow, that's, yeah, this is a very small tree. But before I go, I will just show you. Here's a processor. It takes stone, sorry, wood, stone, and some vines. Craft that and you get a ton of recipes, including my door and the forge, which we will make later. That's That requires bedrock, which requires the next, uh, the stone mining cell, so and it, it goes on like that. But I have my processor, which I'm going to put right here. And it has a really cool little animation. It's really neat. So you press the F button to interact, and now you can make a ton of things. I can turn this lettuce into seeds, which I'm going to do before I eat it, by accident. And... Come on. Takes some time to make stuff. There we go. And then I can make wood slabs with the, with the wood. Stone and stone rods with the stone. This can be made for, to, for yellow pigment. This is red pigment. Uh, this is crushed leaves, sorry, shredded leaves, in order to make, uh, now you can make twine, more shredded leaves. So there we go. It is now night time, and I'm going to end this video on, on this note. I will be making more beginner's guide videos next time. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to mention uh, that I just learned today. Oh, so you all saw when I... Uh, so basically everyone who sees this video knows my password. In order to get onto somebody else's world, what you basically need is their password and the name of their world. And then you can just pop in. So in order to change that, you press the escape button to bring up the game menu. And you can edit it over here. And here I can edit the name of my world, can description, there's the password. And I can even change the advanced options from here too. So, and you can also uh, change the uh, change the photograph of what you see every time. Uh, sorry, the thumbnail, that's what I meant to say. Um, which is very cool. Okay, and that's it for this video. This is Kestrel North, signing off. Bye-bye!